The reason I'm sitting on my bathroom floor here is I'm going to show you how I trim the Livestock Guardian Dog's nails. And this here is Samson. <clears throat> it's a rainy cold day, so most of the Guardians are just chilling out and napping inside, which is a great time. I like to pick a time when they are just relaxing and I trim their nails. And I think we have 128 nails. Ruthie has extra dew claws. And I usually get done maybe 15 minutes. Let's get started. These guys have white nails and you can see, you never want to cut down that low. You could see the, barely see the vein. I'm just gonna to wanna to get the little tip. And the reason these aren't so long is because I trim them probably about once a month. Okay, the tool that I'm going to use is these simple clippers and I've been using these for years. They last forever, it seems like. And I'm gonna put their nail in there and just gently clip. And I'm going to wear my reading glasses because like I said, you never want to mess up. It could bleed and the biggest thing is it would hurt them and they won't let you do it again. Good boy. Okay, here we have Solomon. So let's just start clipping. Oh, sometimes they're a little fidgety at the beginning. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. One more. Good boy. And then they have a dew claw here, so you kind of got to <laughs> find it. Oh, he's going to help me find it. Thank you, Saul. Thank you, Saul. Oh. <laughs> Good boy. Thank you. Thank you. As I'm moving on to Solomon's other paw, he's starting to fall asleep here. Well, maybe not. I don't normally wear a necklace, but yesterday was Mother's Day, and Maria gave me this beautiful necklace. But as you can see, they could grab you. <laughs> oh, and I always want to make sure I don't want to go. Oh, just guess. I'm gonna. He moved. I'm just gonna cut. Just wait and make sure you never, ever, ever cut that quick. Okay. I'm gonna move on to the back feet and move on to other dogs. Okay, Solomon's back feet. Such a good boy. Sometimes they're a little short and I just get the very little end. You don't have to cut them if they don't need them. Sometimes they naturally wear them down by digging. Thank you, Saul. And that one's low enough. Thank you, Saul. Next one. Okay, who we have here is our biggest guardian, David, and he can weigh up to 180 pounds when he's really big. <laughs> and let's start with David. Thank you, Mr. Dave. He likes to go by Mr. Dave to, oh, see, he's saying no, Mom, but we're going to get through it. Thank you. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. I'm not hurting him. It's just not their favorite thing, obviously. And we've had some times where David would try to scare me away by growling and all that, but and he finds out mommy's not going away. Stay. Good boy. Mommy's not going away. Very good. And the dew claw. Let me check that. See, he's starting to bite. He's not going to ever bite me, but he's starting to say, Mom, look at my teeth. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dave. And who we have here is Tacoma, and she likes to growl and act all scary, but she's not scary. So, Tacoma, I'm going to cut your nails. Let me, let me see. Such a good girl. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Stay. Now, I don't want to cut when they're fidgeting because you don't want to make a mistake. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so scared. Okay, stay. Nope, I want you to stay. They know when I'm serious. They know, they know when I'm playing. And they know when I say, hey, I need you to stay. Okay, there's a paw to coma. And I'm going to do all their paws, but I'm just kind of showing you. So let's move on. You were good. And I always give them lots of... Lots of praise and attention. You are so good. Thank you. Okay, who we have here is Esther. I said your name. 
we have Esther. Can you lay down? Good girl. Okay. And they're all starting to kind of wake up. Okay. Let's get back. Um, glasses. Oh, my glasses. Hold on. Ah, I think we can get this done. Okay, now I need you to be real still. You can kiss puppies, but no play. Stay. Thank you. Thank you. I want to be real careful. I don't want to just go. I think that's good. Let's think twice, cut once. Here we go. That's Tacoma. Put this side. Thank you, Miss Esther. Queen Esther. Be real still. Alright, how about down here? Good girl! We gotta do the back, but good girl so far. Here we have Goliath, and he's very vocal, so you might hear some growling. Alright, Goliath, I need to do your nails. I like to tell them what I'm gonna do, I don't like to surprise them. They bring firewood home too. Don't you? Okay, I want you to stay. I want you to stay. And you stay. Did you go, boy? Did you go, boy? If he didn't growl, I know something's wrong. Cause Goliath is my growler, even when he's happy and being sweet. I already got that one. Stay. Stay. I need to do do claw. Did you go, boy? We had to do the other the other paw. Okay. Here we have Ruthie, and she's our littlest but fastest guardian. And Ruthie has two extra nails, and so she's going to have dew claws also in the back. Maria, you want to zoom in, and we'll show show her the dew claws in the back. She has these right here, so we have to have to get those. Okay, so have a seat, Ruthie. I like to get comfortable. <laughs> I like to try to get comfortable before I cut the nails. And they're very cooperative, usually. Yeah, she's so little. Yeah. Remember, be careful and don't cut too low. It's better to cut more often than cut too low because if the dog feels any pain, they're not going to want you to do it again. Um, you will save so much stress for your animals, time and money by doing it yourself instead of taking them um, to a groomer. What do you think, Ruger? Did you like that? All right, let's just end it there. If you'd like to see more videos from us, make sure to hit subscribe and the bell next to it. That way you will get notified when we have a new video.